Hi, my name is Todd Kennedy, and I'm a pro staff for Semperfly and Norvice. Today, I'm going to be showing you a video on how to tie a green machine. Uh, this green machine is a variant that has the white tail and a chartreuse or uh, fluorescent uh, green butt. Uh, green machines are a phenomenal pattern um, here in Nova Scotia and in New Brunswick. I'm from Atlantic Canada, and I'm going to do a demo here for you on how I tie these very effective. The one that I'm going to be tying today, it looks like these ones here, are uh, primarily fished wet or just under the surface. Uh, so uh, they can be made to, to, to be high and dry. Uh, there's all kinds of variants, different uh, body uh, uh, tag colors and whatnot. So, uh, so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be using a few different products. Uh, for the tail is, of course, uh, white calf tail. The tail is going to have a couple little fibers of uh, Semperfly uh, Crystal Pearl Semper Flash. Just a couple, just to give it a little bling. The uh, tag or the butt part of it is a gel core body material that's made by Semperfly. Just came out. It's a micro fritz. Uh, came out uh, the first of uh, 21. And uh, this one's a fluorescent yellow sunburst. What's really great about this too is that it is UV. The uh, body itself is going to be tied with natural uh, white tail deer body hair that is dyed green. Uh, and uh, with most white tails here, it has a little bit of under fur, which we'll be cleaning out. Uh, and the hackle is going to be a whiting, this one's a Hoffman part, but this is a whiting brown furnace hackle. And that's going to be Palmer in the body. Uh, head is going to be finished off with. Uh, uh, Nano Silk uh, Classic Wax Thread 6 aught, and the fly itself is going to be tied with a uh, Nano Silk 12 aught. Uh, and, and you can go a little bit heavier if you like, but I happen to have the 12 aught loaded on my Nor Auto Bobbin because I use a Nor Vice in the Auto Bobbin system. And the hook that we're going to be tying it on is going to be a Daiichi 1760 number no. 4. The reason why I'm using this one is that. Uh, it's a little heavier of a uh, sh shank on the hook. It's a heavier hook, so it's a, it's really good for, uh, it's strong. And because this fly is going to be fishing wet, and I love downturned eyes. So I'm going to just move my camera down a little bit, so I'm going to get out of focus, but it'll be focused and concentrate more on the fly as I talk. Bear with me, I'm not the greatest uh, videographer of any sort like that, so I just have to do a quick little adjustment here for us. And hopefully we can get it going and I don't have any equipment failures. Okay, just gonna make sure I'm one of these guys that have need glasses. I'll zoom in a little bit more for us here. There, hopefully that doesn't get me down just a little bit there. Okay, so I'm gonna be oh I never tightened my vice up there yet. Make sure I can tighten it. There we go. All right, we're going to do an underbody uh, just to, to cover the, the shaft of the hook with uh, Nano Silk. And uh, with Nano Silk, uh, you have to uh, use the scissors. Make sure you use the end here part of the scissor instead of here because Nano Silk is so strong that it'll actually dull scissors. And so we'll do a little wind down. I can actually uh, do a little spin here just to build it up quicker. As this is a curved shank hook, it doesn't quite spin as nice as a, a straight shank hook. I'm going to take up some calf tail. And just clean it up a little bit here. Trim it off. I'm going to get rid of all of the uh, shorter fibers. So I'm going to pull them out. I usually roll the, the uh, calf tail a little bit just so it uh, kind of makes it, if there's a curve in the hair, it kind of takes that curve out and kind of makes it all nice. Usually about the shank uh, length is usually what I do for a tail coming out the back. Lash her down with the nano silk. Pull 
apologize if I'm hiding with my fingers. I'm not used to doing videos that much. So that's nice and secured. It's not going to go anywhere. Hold it in place. Taking my little one little strand of flash here. I'm going to just lay it in on the side. Like so. Bring it around. Pull them both back. It's just a little bit of flash. It's very subtle, but I just find it helps a little bit, give a little bling. If anything, it catches more fishermen, I think, than fish. But that's okay, too, if you're a fly, if you're selling your flies. And, uh, but uh, I like the way it looks in the water, especially when it gets wet. So the body, well, again, we're going to use gel core body. It's a micro fritz, fluorescent uh, yellow in sunburst. Great thing about Semperfly, uh, uh, spools is they got a nice little keeper on the end and the great thing about that is you could instead of having one little notch in there and you always have that notch lining it out you either have a piece too small or if you did cut a piece off and it's too short it doesn't make a difference the other great thing is I can leave it on the spool give it a little pinch and it holds it in place a benefit of that is when you're using a Norvice system I'm just going to tie it in on top here secure it I can take my bobbin, which you can't see, and I'm pulling it way over to the other side where I have a keeper that holds my bobbin out of the way because it's an auto bobbin. It retracts and pulls. Then with the Norvice, it's just very easy for me to wrap around and make this butt really nice and tight. Hold that in place. Bring my bobbin back, which auto automatically retracts. Do a couple turns behind. Couple turns in front to lock it off. Do it again just to make sure. And then I cut it off. And I've absolutely wasted no material. And I can wind that back up after. So securing that on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut little bunches of deer hair about the thickness of a pencil. it off the hide. This is going to be multiple steps for the next few. I'm going to take it. I have a little comb here that I use and what I use this comb for is because our deer are usually harvested in our fall that uh, we get the hides from to die, they have an under fur and this under fur here prevents from spinning that well. So we throw that in the garbage. I cut the tips off. because we don't need them. I'm gonna set this little stack of hair right on top of my hook. Do a couple of loose turns. I'm gonna let that kind of roll around the shank a little bit. And then I'm cinching down right there. With Nano Silk, you could do this all kinds of turns and it's not gonna build up. I then just gonna push this back. Secure it in the front. And then we're going to repeat. Cut another bunch of hair off. Clean out the under fur. I'm going to cut the tips off. The reason I cut the tips off, it just allows it to spin a little bit easier. I'm going to lay that on top again. Couple more turns, give it a little cinch just to make it, and then we let it roll. Roll it back, go forward, winding it in, hold it in place. Because this is a going to be fished wet, it doesn't need to be really packed hard and really tight. I'm trying to get that hair really dense because we're not trying to get that floating uh, objective that we would for, let's say, a bomber style dry fly. Again, I just cut another chunk off. Brush the hair out. 
trim the tips. Set it on. A couple loose turns. Let it spin. There we go. Give it a little push back. Tighten it up. One more clump should do it. Cut it off. Clean the under furrow. Trim the tips. Set it on. Two turns. Give it a little cinch. Let it spin around. Wind it into the other. Go forward to where you like it. Give it a little push, see if that's good enough. Looks pretty good to me. I'm just kind of pushing the hairs back, building a little bit of a head here. Hope it's focusing on what you can see. Nano silk is so fine that you could wrap a lot of wraps and you're not going to get any buildup. And it's so strong that I could pull sideways with my bobbin and actually snap the end off my bobbin. So it's very strong. 12 watts, a little thin uh, for spinning, but I'm used to it. Uh, I recommend maybe going a, to the 8 or a 6 if you're spinning. And that way you can, uh, just because it's so fine that it may cut your hair if you pull too hard. Now I'm going to take this out of the vise just so I can trim it and show you how I trim. So with trimming this, I go in and I just trim around the back straight just so I can see where my butt begins and the hair starts. So I don't know, I'm hoping that you can see this. It's kind of hard to do, but... If you can see, I kind of trimmed around so I can see the butt. Now I'm just pushing the for hair forward a little bit just so I, where I'm compressing it with my fingers, it's not so bad. Now with the hook, I can see the down part of the hook here. I can go, I do a trim right along the bottom, just like that. I come into the top, I do the same trim, just like that. I do the two sides, one, two, there. So now I kind of got a square. I can then go in and cut my corners off. And it's kind of tapered in a little bit better. I'm now going to trim the butt. Hopefully you can see this. I apologize. It's, I don't know if the camera's focusing correctly or not. It's hard to tell. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of make it all it like smooth and round, no sharp corners or edges, nice taper going backwards, kind of a carrot style some people say. Uh, I have a Curve Scissors by Cohen, really good, uh, Rupert's Flies, really good scissors. Uh, he does wonders with deer hair, so these are really good scissors for trimming deer hair. So. I'm just going to trim around the front here. I always trim from the front back if I can, just because it's kind of going with the flow of the hair because when I spin and stack the hair in, I'm kind of pushing it backwards. I find if you cut backwards to forward, which we do have to do at one point here, just because I can't get at the hook, I, I, it tends to cut more hair than what I want. So you got to be very careful. So I'm just trimming trying to get it all this nice taper evenly cleaned because all the trimming has to be done before we put the hackle on. Now some people tie the hackle in before they put the deer hair on but they don't spin it of course but they just tie uh, secure it in the back but with the nano silk in that I'm going to show you that you don't need to and it actually is stronger the way I do it. So I'm going to trim that all nice. It's looking pretty good here. I don't know for sure how much of my time here. I'm just trying to go quickly here. 
All right, now what I was saying about going from the back forward is this, just this one little spot right here. My scissors can't get in there without going forward back, so I just trim right there out of the way. Again, just a little bit on the underside there, trying to get that little bit of a taper in the front of the fly. This fly will push a little water while it goes through the water, like I say, as a wet fly. And uh, it's very effective here. Okay, almost done. Take a look here. How do we look? I always push the hair forward on it some, just in case there's some stragglers or whatever, and then I can retrim again. I'm going to trim it a little bit again. Okay, almost done. I'm going to set the hook down a little bit lower in my vise now because with Nor Vise I can do the spin and take a look at it. it looks pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to re-tie on my nano silk on the front. When you trim it, make sure you use the back end of your scissors. Like I say, it will dull scissors. Now I'm going to take my uh, hackle and I'm just going to peel off a little bit of the so I can get at the stem. I'm going to lay it in, tie it in, and then I fold the stem back. And this secures the stem from pulling out. Oh, it went forward again. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, it just does one one. There we go. Did I get it? Yeah, there we go. Alright, that holds the stem from popping out in this side. Really not a big deal because when you see the next steps that I do, you'll you'll understand. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna wind my thread through the hair going back about there now I'll take my hackle and I'm going to go through like so almost following the thread path that I just made through the hair so the hackle can go down in and now I'm going to take my thread couple good turns in the back and then I'm just gonna go through the hackle it crisscrosses over the hackle as I go forward and this nano secure silk is securing this hackle all the way up the body and then I'm just gonna finish tying off in the front of the head here we're going to whip finish it off hanging on my post of my Norvis bobbin or my bobbin keeper trim that shit off now this is so strong you can go and break that off it's done it's not going anywhere I'm now going to finish it off with my 60 black Semperfly uh, traditional wax thread This is more so for aesthetics and even a black head. Put that off. A couple little straggler fibers right there you might see. I got a carterizing tool here I just love because it just does such a quick, easy job of cleaning up my heads for when I'm in a hurry. Just like that. Now I'm going to take some uh, Solaris Bone Dry. I uh, 
this fly really doesn't need much cement because uh, everything's so secured in it anyways but just to finish off our head I want to add some bone dry to it And that's good. Put the UV light to it. You can see the how this butt just pops when the UV hits it. So, and that's it. It's it's a easily tied green machine, white tail. Cast this thing out. Hits the water. Starts to pull under a little bit as it goes in, and creating a little wake. Uh, if you tie it drier or put a little bit of floating onto it, it uh, it will go and uh, it'll it'll stay buoyant for a little bit. But like I say, I tied this on a heavy hook, and uh, and it like I say, it's a good fishing fly. It's a producer here for the last decade or more, and uh, some people here have boxes of these big, small, orange hackle, different color, two-tone butts, no tail, glitter just in the tail, it goes on and on. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. Uh, again, uh, ingredients needed to make the fly. I uh, use uh, Semperfly Nano Silk and uh, Classic Wax for the uh, for the head, calf's tail for the uh, tail with some Semperfly uh, uh, Crystal Flash or the, just for the uh, little bit of glitter in the tail itself. Semperfly uh, gel core Michael Fritz for the butt and uh, natural dyed green uh, body hair for deer and uh, whiting just brown hackle and bone dry for the head. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Thank you very much and have a great night.